This is a brief overview of the neurotransmitters that you're going to need to be familiar with for the AP Psychology test. First is going to be dopamine, which we'll be examining on a, in a couple of slides, serotonin, acetylcholine, epinephrine, norepinephrine, GABA, and finally, um, please keep in mind that the descriptions I'm about to give you are incredibly oversimplified. The reality is much more complex, are the, as are the various chemical interactions and biological interactions of what happens inside both the brain and the body. So this is just a, a quick review, and in your biopsych class at university, you will have a lot more detail. Uh, this is a quick little screen capture off of um, uh, Wikipedia, and it shows you the basic uh, sectioning here of the end of the neurotransmitter, so you've got the synaptic um, uh, section here with uh, the synaptic uh, bulbs uh, and the vesicles. The vesicles hold the neurotransmitters. Uh, the neurotransmitters are released into the synapse and then of course you've got the receptor sites over on the postsynaptic uh, neuron. And so you've already reviewed that particular process and so without any further uh, wait. Uh, dopamine uh, is going to be connected to the pleasure centers of the brain, in particular the nucleus accumbens. That particular term is not in most regular psychology books, intro psych books, but it's a curved area of the brain that, uh, that helps you um, experience pleasure, whether it's food or drugs or some other um, uh, kind of pleasurable activity. With dopamine, if the, uh, the, the, the Parkinson's disorder uh, is connected to the loss of dopamine generating neurons, schizophrenia is associated with elevated levels of dopamine in the mesolimbic pathway. Low levels of dopamine are associated with addictions, interestingly enough, and you might run across the term dopaminergic. Anytime you see the energic um, connection in a, in a word, it simply means a, an activity associated with a particular chemical. So there's serotonergic, uh, dopaminergic, etc. So when you see that, that's going to be connected to that particular chemical. Serotonin is an, an inhibitory neurotransmitter. You know that it's usually connected with mood and emotion, appetite and sleep, so there's going to be some involvement with the hypothalamus going on there. Low levels are associated with depression, anger control, obsessive compulsive disorder, and suicide. And you know that it plays a role in perception, just in a generic sense, but also think about um, your knowledge of ecstasy and how that chemical releases all the neurotransmitter uh, of serotonin in your brain at the same time and that definitely affects mood and emotion and perception. Acetylcholine. It was the first neurotransmitter discovered, and it's connected primarily in the somatic nervous system because it's associated with muscle movement. And so acetylcholine activates the, the muscles in the body, but interestingly enough, the loss of acetylcholine is associated with Alzheimer's as well. Epinephrine is, uh, when it's in the brain, it is going to be a neurotransmitter. When it is in the bloodstream, it is going to be in the endocrine system, and so therefore it is going to be a hormone. But it is associated with energy and the emergency systems in the endocrine system, primarily the sympathetic nervous system, connected to the fight or flight response. In the brain, it's also connected to the formation of memories. Norepinephrine. Part of the sympathetic nervous system uh, that, that responds to danger, uh, the fight or flight response, increases blood pressure and heart rate. So whenever you're fearful, you are experiencing those things, and it releases the glucose stores. So all of a sudden, you have this energy that you have to do something with. And of course, it's also connected to the amygdala, which is also um, part of the fight flight response and the brain part that is activated during that. GABA, gamma amino butyric acid. And this is going to be associated with anxiety. Too little, much, too, too little GABA in the brain is going to be associated with anxiety disorders, generalized anxiety in particular. So this is a good one to have. Otherwise, you might be having a less than pleasant experience with, uh, with life. And thank you for um, uh, uh, Wikipedia for the images and the screen captures. And that's neurotransmitters in a nutshell.